Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times this Tuesday, October 27, 2020. For today's editorial, how will motorcycle taxis practice physical distancing? Either the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases, or IATFEID, is serious about enforcing physical distancing under its COVID management program, or it is merely joking about allowing motorcycle taxis to operate amid the coronavirus pandemic. Many readers have written the Manila Times to express their consternation that the IATFEID is seriously thinking about allowing these taxis used to operate. Some say it's a crazy, stupid idea. Others contend that it makes a mockery of the physical distancing protocol, which the public has been dutifully observing during the emergency. Since the motorcycle taxi ride requires the passenger to cling on or hold on to the driver, what will happen to physical distancing? Will it be set aside? We raise this query because of reports that this taxi novelty could be authorized any time now by the government. On October 23, the Philippine Daily Inquirer reported that the IATF EID had approved the resumption of the motorcycle taxi pilot program, according to IATF EID spokesman Harry Roque Jr. This means that motorcycle taxi firms such as Ancas and Joyride can now operate and continue piloting their most unusual public transport vehicle. Roque said that the IATF EID had granted the authorization following the decision of the House of Representatives to extend the motorcycle taxi study program. According to IATF EID Resolution 80, the National Task Force Against COVID-19 and the Department of Transportation will be tasked to implement and monitor the pilot program. The pilot program, which expired shortly after the Luzon-wide COVID lockdown, is meant to measure whether motorcycle taxis are fit for public transport as it is currently banned under the Land Transportation and Traffic Code, or Republic Act 4136. The pilot study expired in April. The government allowed Singaporean-owned Ancas to operate motorcycle taxis for six months from June 2019 on a pilot study basis. Joyride and Move It were also allowed to operate shortly before the Luzon lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic. With the resumption of the motorcycle taxi pilot program, another mode of public transport will be available for commuters as the government gradually reopens the pandemic-hit economy. Any day now, President Duterte is expected to announce the government's decision on the quarantine status of different parts of the country for the month of November. Palace spokesman Roque said members of the IATF EID were meeting with the president in Davao City. The national capital region remains under general community quarantine along with the province of Batangas and the cities of Tacloban, Bacolod, Iligan, and Iloilo until October 31. The IATF EID is expected to tackle the various recommendations of the different localities in the country, just as the national tally of COVID-19 cases reached over 366,000 the other day. The Department of Health said over 313,000 of this number are recoveries, while 6,915 are deaths. It appears that the IATF EID has not considered at all the possibility of lifting the community quarantine altogether before the end of the year. If the task force is bent on keeping the community quarantine up to the holiday season, it should be equally serious in dealing with the motorcycle taxi issue. It should explain to the public how the taxi will work alongside physical distancing. Throughout the past seven months, the IATF EID has not exercised its many heads too much in designing the policies and protocols in the anti-COVID program. Draconian measures have descended on the public without much study and sufficient justification. It is a mystery, for example, how our people have been mandated to wear both face masks and face shields in public, perhaps alone among the many peoples of the world. The motorcycle taxi is plainly an idea that must be seriously studied before the public should take it seriously. Perhaps Secretary Roque should demonstrate how physical distancing will work while he takes a motorcycle taxi ride. And that's the editorial for Tuesday, October 27, 2020. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to our digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and listen to The Voice of the Times.